The Defence Acquisition Council has cleared 118 Arjun Mark 1A main battle tanks worth 8,380 crore rupees, and active protection systems worth 5,300 crore rupees for 3,000 main battle tanks and infantry combat vehicles, that will be procured from domestic industry under Make 2 category, which can be developed under a joint venture with a foreign original equipment manufacturer with at least 40% level of indigenization. The Defence Acquisition Council has also approved 13 Namico missile carrier, 293 Naganti tank guided missiles, 125mm practice ammunition for T90 and T72 tanks worth 270 crore rupees, and 8 Rudra 4D medium power rotating phased array radar systems worth 2,800 crore rupees. The DRDO and Bharat Electronics Limited have developed a prototype of the Swati Mark II radar system, which is based on a 6x6 Tatra platform, and weighs only 18 tons as compared to 30 tons of the previous Swati Mark I, that will be suitable for deployment at mountainous regions. After successful user test of the Mark II variant, the Indian Army can place an order for an initial batch of 6 units, that will be delivered within 12 months of signing the contract. The Aeronautical Development Agency has issued a tender to manufacture one is to one full-scale model of AMCA fighter jet, that will undergo radar cross-section testing at the RDO's Orange Test Facility by the end of 2021 or early 2022. Discussions are currently underway on the name of the private sector partner that will undertake the development and production of 5.5 generation AMCA fighter along with Hindustan Aeronautics and the DRDO will also be announced soon. The Indian Army has placed a project sanction order for the prototype development of augmented reality head-mounted display system to six Indian companies under Make 2 procedure, that will display the data from the RDO developed 3D tactical control radar, and around 556 head-mounted display systems will be procured that will convert the Igla 1, ZU-23, Strela 10, Silco anti-aircraft system and L-70 air defense guns into all-weather day and night capable systems. India had issued an area warning for a range of 190 km for the period between 1st February to 27th of February 2021, for an Indian Air Force exercise over the Bay of Bengal, and as per latest reports, India has extended the airspace reservation to 3rd March, which can be the user test of Rudrim-1 anti-radiation missile, or the Astra Mark II air-to-air -air missile from Su-30 fighter jet. The Rudrim-2 anti-radiation missile was recently showcased during the recent visit of Vice President at the DRDO missile complex and officials have said that the Rudrum 2 will have two different variants for different intended roles, and will have an operational range of more than 300 km. The DRDO is also working on Mach 5 capable Rudrum 3, that will be a one-ton hypersonic air-launched ballistic missile with a range of more than 500 km. HAL officials have said, that the 700 km range CATS Hunter Long Range Autonomous Air Launched Cruise Missile will be equipped with an imaging infrared seeker and an inertial measurement unit for high precision guidance, and will be powered by HAL built PTAE 7 turbojet engine, and the rear section will be fitted with control fins to provide lifting and improved maneuverability. The CATS Hunter can drop 250 kg warhead and can autonomously come back to the base to be recovered using a two tier parachute system so that it can be refueled and reused for the next mission. The CATS Hunter can also be reprogrammed with fresh images of its target, so that it can work even in jammed airspace without requiring any satellite navigation. If it fails to select the first target, it will choose the second target from its internal library, and it can even self-destruct in case if it can't be recovered. The Pentagon had awarded the Indian private sector firm Lawson and Tubro a $11.5 million contract to build a specialized supply vessel for the Chilean Navy in March 2020, 
and the Chilean Navy has announced that Larsen and Tubro has delivered the vessel today, that is equipped with hybrid propulsion and dynamic positioning system.